The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour. And of course, uh, well, we had a nice bounce in the morning. I think that's uh, what we can say about that. Uh, I'd bought uh, calls uh, yesterday uh, eh, on the spies. I think it was about 423, something like that, 422.50 or so when I bought them. Uh, and uh, we had a nice bounce in this morning. I thought that bounce would come later today. Uh, but uh, I got up, saw the bounce. Uh, we were at, uh, at 4, what was that, 4.32, I think it was printing. Uh, so I shorted that side uh, with the equity and locked in my profits, and I wanted to see what happened after the open. Well, I just sat on those shorts all the way back down and uh, collected my uh, basically – uh, zero risk trade. Uh, of course, at any time, it could have taken off the the uh, calls and did the puts. And I actually got out of the the uh, excuse me the calls, got out of the uh, put uh, the calls. Boy, I'm trying to say it hard today. Uh, got out of the calls. Uh, I don't know somewhere in the eleven o'clock hour, and I'm back to all cash. I don't think a lot's going to happen today. I think we had our bounce. Um, and because the bounce was on dubious news, uh, everybody decided to short it, which was probably the right thing. And I'm glad that I got up and uh, caught the uh, spies at the highs, was able to lock in those profits. But I don't think there's a lot now to do. And I think we're probably going to close somewhat flattish uh, today. Uh, but uh, options... Uh, Still look bullish into next Friday. I don't know what's going to happen. Maybe we will get a real ceasefire instead of just uh, discussions about a ceasefire. But it gives you a little idea what the risk is of being short if one comes along. If you can pop 50 or 60 points on something that's bogus, um, is a, a real ceasefire worth 100, 150 points in the S&P? It's interesting. 877-927-6648. Uh, okay, we'll get back in here. Go back and look at a few of these other things. Make sure everything's good. Start checking the email and see what people have for me. Okay. And, of course, you can call me at 877-927-6648. You can email me at path at tfnn.com. We've got a couple of emails already in the hopper. Uh, and, of course, it would be great if you'd give me a call. I think we've got all the bugs worked out of our system this week uh, on our new platform. And uh, probably more to be announced about that later. But uh, eh, I did forget to do it. Doesn't matter where you're at. As long as you're here at the appropriate time. <coughs> The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. So what do we have uh, happening today? Like I said, uh, big pop this morning. Got the sell-off. We're down a little bit, but there's not a, a lot going. NASDAQ's probably the worst part of it. A lot of that is pin action from uh, China tech companies that are probably going to have to delist. Uh, we've talked about it from for years uh, that I disliked any China companies because, again, they won't let you look at their books. Uh, so there's been a two-tier system, one where you can do anything you want, and a, another system out there where you uh, had to actually maybe have somebody look at your books. They may not be right, but at least uh, there's some level of oversight out there. And it always made me remind this uh, conversation, which I've kept for like forever, uh, do, 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 do I have it? Uh, thought I had it here. Let's find it here. Uh, there it is. Uh, do, 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 is it still here? 
I've got it. So, oh, yes, I do. I've still got it here. Um, I'll play a little bit of it. This is from like three years ago, and it's about VIPs, V-I-P-S, and had two sets of books. But uh, it isn't, I don't know why anybody should be surprised uh, that China doesn't want people looking at their books and that they're probably phony. Has that crossed your Absolutely. mind? Absolutely. You, okay. that, that has. It crossed my mind with all my Chinese companies and, and uh, more with the Chinese companies than with the U.S. companies. And I think when you're dealing with this, there's a 5 percent chance I'm dead wrong and this could be nuclear. But I don't think that that's the case. But shouldn't the stock trade at a discount if there's a 5 percent chance that it's a zero? I mean, shouldn't the... The SEC, there should be a regulator. There's one regulator for these companies. It's the SEC. And the SEC has no ability to call the country of China. That's true. That's uh, Herman Munster. His name's not really Herman, but I call him that. I always thought uh, uh, there's some people I just take an instant disliking to. They're a little slimy or oily or weaselly uh, or skunky. And maybe he checks all the boxes on there, but uh, forget what uh, his name's Monster. He's always on CNBC, uh, touting something. And it, I don't. I, maybe it's just the times I've caught him, but doesn't seem to do very well. Um, but uh, here's another little clip. Again, this is from three years ago for Vips. You know, this is probably a first in a couple of regards. It's probably the first company to pre-announce earnings to the downside after already announcing their earnings date and doing so 43 days after the quarter has ended. So you bring up a good point. Like, if it's a fraud, do they not even have enough control over their fake numbers to know what they were going to be when the quarter ended? I mean, it's, I, I don't have a good answer for you then. But it's also probably the first Internet company, depending on, you know, mobile buyers that has pre-announced earnings because of bad weather. Right. Anyway, there's a – is that all of them? I think there's another one here. Are their are their revenues 350 million or are they 3.7 billion? Which is it? Are they making 122 million or are they losing 2.1 million? Which this this can't be the same company. You must have pulled the wrong filings. But, but no, no, he didn't. But uh, just amazing how many of these companies out there uh, from China um, are finally getting the uh, treatment that they justly deserve, and that is. Maybe there's something, maybe they're not. But if you don't have at least a little oversight, there isn't it. And, of course, uh, if you miss the news today, a lot of the companies are down. And it's kind of dragging some of the tech stocks down, too, although the tech stocks have their own issues out here. But uh, you know what? Uh, you, uh, the old saying is you, you lay down with dogs, you're going to get fleas. Um, I don't have a lot of sympathy for the people that got in bed with uh, Russia uh, or China. They knew what they were doing. And even scumbags uh, like uh, the Bezos from Amazon and the uh, CEO that's taken over there, um, what do they do this week? They get caught with their hands in the cookie jar using slave labor. And the next day, hey, what's going to do a 20 to 1 split and huge share buybacks? Uh, eventually, the chickens will come home to roost. It doesn't happen very often, uh, but it does happen eventually uh, that we start seeing, uh, as uh, Buffett, uh, William Buffett says, you only know who's swimming without a bathing suit when the tide goes out. Well, the tide is going out in China. We'll be back in the Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. So what do I think is going on out here? Well, I think we've uh, started uh, rolling up the sidewalks for the evening and starting to look for the Fed to come out. Of course, that's going to be Wednesday. So I'm going to start saying volume is probably going to start uh, winding down probably a little bit on Monday, certainly on Tuesday, and then probably very light until uh, Wednesday afternoon at 2 o'clock and then a press conference after that. So... Uh, yeah, I'm not expecting a whole lot for the first part of next week. Uh, maybe some sideways action, but uh, I don't think much is going on here. Um, probably the best thing is that uh, uh, I'll be very active in watching how the stocks react. Probably won't be doing a lot of trading between now and Wednesday. Uh, continue to watch for uh, pullbacks in crude and gold. Uh, my guess is you come in Monday and both crude and gold probably a little bit lower. Uh, it looks like crude's more of the safety play than gold is today. Um, gold's now yeah, not bad, but again, you kind of came to the first level of support with gold at 1975 today. And my guess is that you could get one more push maybe, and maybe it lasts all of five minutes down to 1950. That's probably where I would be looking at it. It uh, depends on how the rest goes out here. But we may be a little down today or we may close flat. But again, I don't think a lot's happening in the market other than people wanting to exit stage left on uh, any risk. And uh, much like the, uh, the, the uh, play that I had to watch that I bring up almost all the time, uh, waiting for Godot, uh, by the way, if you've never seen it, he never shows. It's a horrible play. Don't let anybody suck you into that waste of a couple hours. But, uh, hey, we're waiting for the Fed at 2 on Wednesday now. Um, and let's do a little bit of history as we uh, get going here today. That it's all just a little bit of history repeating. On this day, I think it's in 18, uh, or excuse me, in 1989, uh, the smartest woman, or at least the highest uh, tested IQ ever, 
uh, gets blasted by a bunch of folks that tell her she doesn't know what she's talking about. And I could probably do 50 of these, but uh, I got some uh, flack uh, over the last few days about talking uh, about people. And, of course, they all say the same thing. Well, why does everybody in science say this or that or the other? Well, I don't pay a lot uh, of attention to what everybody says in science because guess what? There's a few things you should know about scientists and other folks out there. Uh, but uh, I think we're starting to learn a lot more over them than over the last two years. And that is they'll say a lot of stuff if they think that's exactly the smart thing to be or do or that saves their job. But uh, eh, they tend to be disconnected from reality a lot. Uh, I did uh, have uh, in in the 90s have an opportunity to talk to uh, and be around uh, magicians, uh, Penn and Teller specifically, and uh, they had one thing, and that was they always said the easiest people in the world uh, to uh, fool were academics and scientists, and they never told me why. They just said it was. Anyway, on this uh, day, uh, Marilyn had written an article about how to win at playing uh, Let's Make a Deal, uh, a 1970s game. Uh, there was a lot of uh, who shot John about the best way of doing it and what the odds were and whether or not you should change your guess after the first guess. If you're unfamiliar with the show, uh, there were three doors and behind each door, uh, two doors were a goat or some kind of booby prize. And then behind the last one was a new car or something. And the question is, uh, was every single time uh, you would guess which door, he'd give you an opportunity to make uh, change your guess. And she says in her article, and uh, some other people before this uh, had hinted at the same thing, that if you change your guess, that your odds went from one and three to two and three, or to actually 50-50. And uh, so she wrote this article. Everybody gave her trouble. I'm going to read this one. Um, this is a head of a mathematics at uh, the University of Florida. Uh, you blew it. You blew it big. Since you seem to have difficulty grasping the basic principle at work here, I'll explain. After the host reveals a goat, you now have a one in two chance of being correct. Whether you change your selection or not, the odds are the same. There isn't enough mathematical illiteracy in this country. We don't need the world's highest IQ uh, propagating more. Shame on you, Scott Smith of University of Florida. I, and by the way, I can do an hour of this because there were like 50 mathematicians doing it. Here's another one from Georgetown. You are utterly incorrect about the game show question. I hope uh, this controversy will call some public attention to the serious national crisis in mathematical education. If you can admit your error, you will have contributed constructively toward the solution of a deplorable situation. How many irate mathematicians are needed to get you to change your mind? Of course, within the year, they all had to eat humble pie or crow. I don't know which one's better out here. Um... But uh, I've brought this up from time to time. There's a uh, great study on people that are supposedly experts on predicting the future. And uh, I've got the book in there. I'll bring it out uh, during the next segment. But uh, when you hear a lot of folks on TV or radio that are uh, supposedly experts, just know that people that are generalists are almost always better at predicting the future than people that are supposed to be experts. There's a lot of reasons why. I'll bring that book in the, uh, book out uh, after the break. But uh, you know what? 30, I think 30 top uh, mathematicians signed a, a letter saying she was wrong. Well, they had to all eat crow. Uh, 100 times, uh, actually, uh, we go back to Einstein, 100 people uh, all wrote a, a less similar kind of letter saying he was wrong about uh, his uh, his uh, theory of relativity. Um, the gentleman that uh, came up with the idea of washing your hands and killing uh, germs um, during and after uh, childbirth um, was uh, told that he was wrong. Uh, and I think there was somewhere between 10 and 20 million uh, women that died 
uh, because of that uh, in the coming years until they uh, figured out that germs were a real thing and washing your hands uh, was something you probably ought to do if you're uh, uh, in a uh, operating theater or room. So, uh, and just some thoughts out here. I'm kind of in one of those days where there's, I know there's not much going on. Uh, we're going to go back and look at some other charts out here. Uh, get ready, not, uh, not go wander off, but we're going to get ready for next week because I think there's a lot of money to be made. That money is going to be made in the next few days as we pay attention, not wander off the reservation and start uh, worrying about all the money we're not making today. Start thinking about the money we can take next. We'll be back at this. trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the tiger's den trading room only at tfnn.com the tiger's den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. As we return, we got another great segment, our trading hour. Go to the first question of the day. Do you have any explanation why Apple keeps going down? Um, you have um, some high volume lows out here and why it shrank a little bit. It's not going to be done, um, especially in price and volume trading. I would say like this. If you had you remember the Super Bowls 
I'm hoping you do. Uh, this is Eddie. Um, if you uh, drop a Super Bowl, it bounces about, I don't know, three quarters uh, of the way up uh, from where you dropped it. If it was on the concrete or something hard. And then the next one's like half, and then the next one's a quarter. Until the energy's out, these things will always keep doing that. And generally, the best way to see the energy in them is volume. Um, 161 million shares in Apple is January 24th. You get a little less. You get a reversal out here on February 24th. But it's only 141 million shares. As all the stocks I went through... See how many of them really are just horribly off um, after the uh, reversal on Wednesday. Um, and maybe they bounce for a day. But if you haven't done the work, or let me put it this way, if the stock price hasn't done the work to let everybody know that the low is in, and that is with light volume tests, and I generally don't get all involved in them unless uh, there's lighter volume. Maybe you get that on Monday. Uh, today you used to already have 131 million is that right yesterday you had 130 105 million shares uh, 131 million shares on the eighth now today 63 million shares so you're getting close out here to making some kind of low options are very bullish next week i don't know what's going to happen uh but uh, maybe you get a low uh, but options are pointing 165 on apple i don't know what's going to do monday and tuesday i do kind of know uh, as my Otis the Drunk theory from May Mayberry RFD, I know by midnight uh, that uh, he's going to be uh, in the drunk tank. Uh, same thing uh, come a week from Friday. So look for signals out here if you're thinking it's going higher. You don't have a lot of volume to the downside. Uh, there are better stocks out here with more potential uh, for higher prices. But uh, that's the technical side of it for the um, – fundamental part of uh, Apple. They had a, what I would call almost a disastrous dog and pony show rollout on Tuesday. Mostly what they talked about was a product that ends up being less than 3%, uh, the whole product area being less than 3% of its profits. And yeah, it may be a great product, but it's not going to move the needle. And that's what everybody wanted to see with their new products is something that was going to move the needle. Now, does that mean it's uh, going to go blow out the lows? I don't think so. We'll look today. But, um, you know, if this thing kind of comes in here with probably 90 million shares, yeah, it could set a low. Um, as I said, this thing's been focused in on 165 for expiration uh, next Friday. So maybe we just need to get to the Fed meeting. But I, like I said, I don't think there's – a lot that is highly predictable, maybe that changes, but highly predictable between now and Wednesday afternoon. Um, commodities, maybe, uh, but stocks, I have a feeling, are kind of taking a rest. Uh, Microsoft, uh, to me, looks like a better bet because it's already tested its previous low on lighter volume. Uh, you had 86 million shares on January 24th. Uh, you spiked that on uh, February 24th with uh, 57 million shares, went below it, closed above it. Uh, and of course, March 8th, you went below it, closed back above it, and actually not holding up fairly bad. Now this one uh, signals that it wants to go to th around 300 for expiration. Uh, you may even see 303 or 305. So maybe something changes, maybe it happens all in one day and gives it up, but uh, options have been holding in fairly good about what's happening. Uh, eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Uh, you can call me in path at tfnn.com, but uh, that's kind of it. Okay, so that handles Eddie. We got uh, uh, <laughs> Richard says nothing like an honest discussion about the world. I do enjoy your rants, and uh, yeah, I do that. Oh, uh, I was going to bring up the book that if you're looking for something to read out here. Um, let's see if I can hold that up right. Uh, super forecasting. And this is from uh, Philip Tetlock. He did a study on how to make good predictions. And not only that, he did a study over 20 years and found out that almost all the experts are wrong. Uh, or let me put it this. They're more wrong than people that just sit around and read the newspaper in uh, Nebraska. 
who um, he basically had a contest. Uh, they had a lot of contests uh, who could predict the best stuff. But uh, people that had uh, inside information, worst predictors. People that uh, knew uh, stuff at the CIA opposed to other folks, worst predictors. I see people this week, uh, some idiot, I can't remember her name, but I want to say it was Monday morning. I just happened to flip on the, the TV and it was, uh, I wanted to see the first ticks of the day. And it was uh, some lady on uh, Bloomberg. And uh, she said, uh, you know what? Uh, Russia invading China just kind of came out of the blue. And I thought, all I've been hearing about was for were two months into the lead up that was he was going to invade. Where did this it came out of the blue came from? And secondly, the uh, the guy didn't actually challenge her on a, an obviously patentable uh, lie or distortion of the truth. Everybody knew it was coming um, or thought it knew it was coming. I just thought it was going to happen on a new on a new moon. And it happened a few days before a new moon. And that's about it. But uh, I didn't have any inside information. But uh, at least I didn't pretend it wasn't going to happen. Uh, maybe that's a good excuse for staying long. Maybe they have to say that kind of stuff as fund managers. But uh, I wasn't particularly impressed uh, when someone says something patentably, easily proven wrong. Anyway, great book, uh, Super Forecasting, uh, Philip Tetlock. And he has uh, – there's a couple things if you're uh, – uh, rummaging around uh, with Google, uh, try to figure out uh, a Breyer score. And uh, basically, when he came down to it, uh, that was his best way of uh, figuring out and changing your beliefs over time. And uh, basically, uh, he just took the square root of the error, whatever he was wrong, and would just move uh, the uh, square root of that error each day until it came in, and that way you don't overcorrect. Uh, but uh, very interesting. Anyway, uh, 20,000 predictions over 20 years, I think, is what he had. And uh, he found uh, and made teams of predictors that were far better than everybody we see on television. And uh, the best guy, a farmer, out on the field, no Internet, just newspapers, sitting there reading them, turning in his predictions, uh, blew everybody else away. So give you a little idea. You don't have to be an expert. Just use some common sense. We'll be back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. 
Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Just got a little bit of a, a chill out here as the air conditioning continues to run here in Florida. I have to just rub it in a little bit uh, for those people up in the great white north. Um, okay, what else do we have here? Okay. Uh, to, to do. Oh, um, got a question uh, on AMD. Wrote a little bit about that in the Tech Insider today. Um, but uh, is there any big news out here? Eh, no. Again, if you got high volume lows, you wait to have them tested. Um, most of them are getting tested fairly quickly. Some sideways action out here. You're almost into the candle part of um, March 8th, Wednesday. So I'm not gonna. I'm gonna say, you know. These SMHs still may be a day or two away. I think that's part of Apple, too. We've got a lot of those uh, companies out here that are doing stuff. But uh, SMH is uh, kind of down on a light volume today, not still in the gap higher, actually filling it. And, you know, you had a, a nice move with a gap. Well, what are you going to call it? 6.7 million shares. You're down to about 5 million shares today filling the gap. But uh, I think it's going to take a little bit. Uh, let's talk about some stocks in the snooze today. And uh, the first one is Blink. Do I have that right? Yeah, Blink charging. And uh, what do we have on this one? Well, um, eh, earnings weren't that great. I guess that's it. But really, uh, you had nothing more than um, a lower high and a higher low. Um, and uh, going sideways out here, so... I wouldn't write too much home about it. Uh, the big loser loser out here uh, and get the loser horn at his DocuSign. And again, um, we don't, you know, we talk a lot about technicals, but I think one of the things you should think about, at least broadly, is where there is a moat to entry i.e. they have some kind of patent or some other thing that's going to keep everybody out of their business. Bidness. And guess what? DocuSign, uh, as uh, Steve, or Steve, as uh, Tom, who comes on after the show, uh, talks about occasionally is how many other companies are doing the same thing as DocuSign. Uh, they were at the right place at the right time and got the lion's share of the business going into the, the, uh, uh, the uh, pandemic. But as more and more of these companies came online, it's hard to change, charge the same amount. And, of course, uh, you're divvying up the pie a little bit more. Uh, but, uh, again, uh, until the tide goes out, you really don't know who's swimming without a bathing suit. And that's uh, William Buffett's saying. Uh, but certainly you've got a uh, huge volume out here. Let's go back and look at this thing uh, over the long term. 
Um, yeah, I mean, you st you still have a sixty four dollar low, sixty. Let's call it sixty four eighty eight for March twelfth, twenty twenty, and that tells you where that thing took off. Uh, you're what six bucks from it. I think this thing is going to a laser, like a laser, to uh, sixty four eighty eight at March twelfth low. So no reason to jump in it now. Uh, Facebook uh, encouraging folks uh, to go out and kill folks. Uh, just the ones that uh, they uh, uh, approve of killing. And in the case, uh, this is uh, Russians. But uh, don't think a company should be involved in you know, probably uh, talking about killing uh, uh, people uh, either way. I think probably a, uh, kind of the third rail of politics is not to talk about uh, uh, retirement and uh what is it, Medicare? Uh, probably should be the third rail of, of, of companies out here that shouldn't talk about encouraging people to talk about killing people. And down a little bit today, but, uh, you know, you had kind of a, a test out here. Uh, let's go back here and look a little bit. Um, got here. You had kind of a, a test out here. It's been on lighter volume. Um, I don't talk about management that much on most companies. I kind of like the management at Workday and Microsoft's uh, CEO has been good. But I'm going to say that CEOs, about maybe 5% of the time, make a difference. And this time I think that uh, they make a difference, but uh, the wrong kind, not the good kind of difference out here, but the bad kind. And probably until these guys are gone, uh, I think uh, – Facebook, Metamucil, whatever you want to call them these days. Um, just if you put some lipstick on a pig, it is still a pig. And I don't see anything changing out here on that. Uh, I'm in a rare mood today. Uh, but that's it. Uh, I can't, can't remember. Anyway, I never thought much about uh, Facebook to begin with. Uh, they did make a lot of money and still do. They'll still be around. But, uh, yeah, I think uh, somebody with a little bit more in the way of understanding uh, how the real world uh, works uh, could probably do a lot better with Facebook and quit using it for a uh, lot of e -care. But I don't think I'm the only one that recognizes the evil uh, that Mark Zuckerberg uh, produces uh, around uh, the, around the world and then the United States, uh, but uh, not a big fan of uh, social media being anti-free speech and or uh, talking a great deal about killing folks. Uh, but it's okay now. He said it's okay. You can't talk about killing anybody else, but Russians, you can talk about killing them uh, and encourage it. But uh, I do digress. Uh, question out here on, uh, got a couple of them come in. Let's go in here, take a look. Uh, okay, first one is on CCJ. Um, okay. Uh, I mean, you're up here at highs. You had a lot of volume. You probably need to pull back to the three by three. So figure maybe a pullback to 2550 or so. Uh, it needs, I think, one more pullback and one more run to bust out through 27. So I think that looks good. But I think it's like a lot of these uh, gold and these. These things just need to consolidate some of the moves higher and then the pullbacks out here. Got a question about Z Zscaler. Uh, here, let's take a quick look at that. Uh, does look good. You had a $12 million uh, selling climax back on February 25th. And, of course, a low is not a low until it gets retested. Uh, you got retested on a 4.4 million shares. This thing's going sideways. Um, you know, the, the only thing is I, I don't see any reason to buy it today. But uh, Monday morning we come in and the markets start uh, feeling a little bit uh, better. Um, you just know where you're your real low is out here that you want this thing to always close above 206. You're not in that yet, and that's the problem. 
close above 206 means you're long. Uh, anything below a close on 206 means uh, that you're wrong and you should get out. Place your stop there. We'll be back in a minute. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN. Also, a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. As we return, we have one more question, or a couple of them, maybe. Check the email here again. Uh, we have a couple more questions uh, out here, and one is coin. Uh, we talked about this on a lot of stocks that were testing their lows and lighter volume. Um, but uh, you had a pullback today. So far, the volume is fairly light. Um, you had the good low and the test, as we talked about in the Wyckoff. Um, you know, you get an automatic rally. That's all well, good and great, but better is the test of the previous low on half the volume, and you got that. You're coming back in today with a 2.5 million shares into a, let's call it a 4 million share low on March 8th. If volume remains light, then you're fine. What you're generally going to find out in these uh, stocks with this Wyckoff pattern is if they can close and stay above uh, the 3 by 3 um, then generally they're pretty good. When this one closed the yesterday below it, eh, generally that's not it. But you're just having a little bit of consolidation in this. Um, I look at it Monday morning, um, but uh, risk-reward is pretty uh, good on this. Um, if you could buy it at 157, just make sure it closes above one, 
uh, 56.53 or one, yeah, 156 ish out here. Uh, as long as it keeps uh, going, but I don't see any reason to be buying it today. But I think Friday, I mean Monday morning, uh, things uh, are looking okay. When this thing is going to get going again off this uh, low volume low, just uh, wait for it to break back through this downtrend um, in the nine day or the three by three displaced moving average. Um, uh, you, uh, you were saying 165 and options on Apple. Yeah, next week. Um, yeah. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Thanks. Have a great weekend. Yeah. Um, I'll let you know again. Uh, remind me on uh, Monday. Uh, we'll look and see how options close today. But um, it's been kind of stuck at 165 for uh, March 18th. So we'll see. Most of these look like they're going to bottom Monday or Tuesday in the tech sector. So when you can, not when you have to, we'll see you here Monday.